women want men that they can control. If I say I want this Birkin bag, you are a provider. Go get it. Mm. And he say, I am a provider. And we can't afford that Birkin bag. Now he ain't a real man. <laughs> now you talking to your girl. You know what I'm saying? Like It's like you, women, all the women say they want something that they're not really preparing to get. Mm. You're not really prepared for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And, and it has to be tough, too, because... <clears throat> You figure as an independent woman who's been working, because this is the narrative of most women, 30s, 40s, right? I mean, you know, <clears throat> you have the degree, you, you've you had your own home or you had your own place, you got your own car, all these things you've been able to provide for yourself. And then to say that you want that inner man to, to provide and take care of you. That's a process. That stuff doesn't happen overnight. That part. That part. We we want it instantly. <clears throat> in that same in that same uh post, and that at, I think that was actually on today or last night that I made it. So it ain't too far if you scroll on my uh Facebook page. But mm -hmm. um, in that same post of talking about provision, I said if he gives you what you want and need. Okay, cool. Be grateful. If he only gives you what you need and not what you want, also be grateful. The issue is we're comparing our man to other people's men. And then there's people with men who don't give them what they want or need. But I got a man. You know, so it's like we we're jumping on trends and we wanna we wanna keep up with other people's lifestyles and we wanna be in the bad B. You know, we we in competition with the next one, and I got the best wig, and I got the best club. You know, we it's like focus on your lane and your lifestyle, and build that wealth with that man that you have, and stop trying to make your man be like other men because you're gonna be mad if he try to make you be like other women. <laughs> oh, you bringing it. This is why I love having you on the show. <laughs> It's so real, though. It's it's so real because I I did I had a post that of course I I had and this is in no shade to the ladies y'all know to my women listeners y'all know I love y'all but there was a post that I had that said he can't protect you because women always saying they want a man as a protector he can't protect you financially if you keep spending. That, and that's what I'm saying. We got to get down to the nitty gritty. You want a man to provide for you, but you spend in every dime that comes in. I, um, you know, women talk about women talk about a man paying all the bills, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, um, well, you know, you you pay all the bills, and I say, okay, if a man say a man is in that position where he can pay all the bills, life happens. Are you a, as they call it, a Proverbs 31 woman, are you smart, are you intellectual to know that, hey, I need to put what I have to the side if he's paying all the bills? Because what if he get hurt and can't work? What if he get laid off just because he got laid off? You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't think like that. We think he pay all the bills, so let me take my money and go buy whatever I want with it. Because let's also be real, if we was to sit down a lot of women and go over their finances, you don't even save on your own. So to say you're going to save when a man come in your life and pay all your bills, you're lying. Because it don't switch like that overnight. Your routines that you have before the marriage, before the relationship, they're going to go over into the marriage and into the relationship. That is so true. That's right. Because old habits are not hard. And I think that's a big misconception that, <clears throat> that most people think that go. And this is why it's important that you take the time to work on yourself while you're single, right? To have those certain disciplines. Yep. Because like you said, it will. It will go straight into your marriage. Because one thing I know about people is no matter where you go, there you are. Oh, that's good. That was good. <laughs> You know, no, that was good. <laughs> I never heard it like that. That was good. Yeah, there you are, right? I mean, think about it. Cause you got people, 
you know, the passport bros, all this other stuff, right? Yes. So you thinking you're going to go into another country, go get you the woman that you want, right? Your, your habits is not going to change. Who You are there. I don't care what part of the country you're in. I don't care what continent. I don't care where you are. People think that if you if you just put me in this environment, no, you that's you. you know, it's you. It's your patterns. You, if I just have this amount of money, if you just have this amount of money, you're going to spend it the same. And that's why they say more money, more problems. That's because you don't have the discipline of handling more money. That's mm -hmm. why it's more money, more problems. Mm -hmm. If you never saved before you got the money, once you come into that money, you ain't going to save then. That's right. You know, so it, it's like we, I just, I'm just like, come on, as women, I'm a whole women accountable because, you know, we bash a lot of men, right? I don't want to be in that lane. I'm going to let them have, handle that. They can keep that. <laughs> My lane going to be home women accountable. And I'm like, if you're not, if you're not saving now, if you spend every dime now on partying, drinking, latest phones, latest wigs, if you do that now, trust and believe you ain't going to say when that man comes save you. You're not going to do it because you're going to think, oh, shoot, I really got more money now because he's taking care of that. So now I really can spend on the things that I want to spend. So you got to discipline yourself before that man comes into your life. Right. Even with protection, even with protection, with trust. I feel like with dating, you know, the male friendships, if you have them, like you got to start learning the trust with the opposite sex before a man comes in. I don't know why we think once we get in a relationship or once we get married that all the problems and issues like just automatically go like we just flip a switch and it's gonna go away. I don't know why we think that. I don't know if it's the Disney movies. I don't know if it's uh we, a lot of times we think we're the exception opposed to the rule. Uh, we all think we're the exception. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. And like everyone believes they're the exception. Everybody think you know that I can fly. Uh, if I just jump off this 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 bridge, I can fly. No, you no you no you gonna you gonna hit the ground like anybody else that decides to jump off a bridge. Yep. <laughs> no one is immune to the laws of of gravity. It's just the laws that God has set in place. Don't get me wrong. I know we're, and I'm not trying to be negative, but at the same time, there are some people that you know they are blessed there's some people that has a little more there's people you know what i'm saying there's you know you have those little exceptions every once in a while but everyone thinks that they're immune to uh yep. life yeah yeah <clears throat> um, like you said marriage a lot of times people think that when they get married that all their problems are gonna go away marriage is just gonna magnify all your issues yeah 